so I I only paid like 500 yen or so because I had a bunch of uh, store credit well, on yodobashi.com so I got the F8E Crusader in Hasegawa's 148 scale area 88 line so I've already kind of uh, took a bunch of stuff off the parts and like I, I took off both halves of the fuselage check this out that's great alright so let's take a look at what we've done so far we <laughs> I mean I you're not doing anything you're just looking alright so let's go down point it down here okay so um, I have not glued anything at all I'm just doing test fits so I want to like this kit it has clear parts for the wing tips and such and on the the oops I'm sorry this isn't in the, these, here are the wing tips the lights it says to paint these clear red and clear blue and I also have these things here um, for the, the top and the bottom the nav lights I want to make the proper modifications to wire these up with SMDs now these are 0402 SMDs by uh, I got these off of uh, uh, HDA Model Works. These are super super tiny little lights, as you can see, and it has this this nice uh, really super thin wires here. Now these are white. What I need to do is buy some red and blue. In the meantime, though, I've already kind of started doing some necessary modifications for this. So on the wings. I will show you the part that I've done here. I have cut out this here. Okay, and that little clear piece is going to fit right in there. What I have also done is used my pin vise to drill 0.5 millimeter holes into here and bring these out. Now these are on the wing tips here. So the wings have two halves. Okay. And wires can be easily strung through the wings here. But the problem is here, this is a solid piece front and back. So what I had to do is, is drill holes through here. So the wires will, will hopefully go in through here and it fits in here like like so now the instructions call for painting these on the wingtips red and blue here so I imagine these are also supposed to be navigation lights so one here and one here that means I will need to do some modification here there are no clear parts for this unfortunately so yeah what am I gonna do um, I'll have to think of something maybe um, put some clear resin on it or something rather I don't know but yeah I, I do want to have this properly lit up and the top thing here this is gonna be a nav light up here and then the clear part fits right on top of this yeah it's gonna look nice alright so to modify this thing here let me, let me get the other piece the corresponding piece There we are. Let me get my clipper. Oh, I dropped something. That's okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is the wrong piece. Yeah. <laughs> This is it. Tee hee hee. Okay. Alright, and uh, looks like. Ooh, yuckies. I'll have to file that off. Okay. 
Let me get my X-Acto blade here. So here is the little triangle shape. So what I did was just to gently saw into the plastic to remove this here. Yeah, take it. Yeah, I remember it took me a while here to do this. If man is five, if man is five, if man is five, then the devil is six, then the devil is six, then the devil is six, and if the devil is six, then God is seven, then God is seven. Then God is seven, the smoke is gone to heaven. Alright, so I think I got this done already here. It's looking pretty nice. Actually, that wasn't so hard after all, was not No. And now the problem here is to drill the holes. Okay, so I was using my point five pin voice there we go it's kind of tiny and here it is okay let's put this in the pin vise Okay, so just like this, what I need to do is draw two holes, or uh, drill two holes, because this is going to be the positive and negative leads. So I just have to make sure it's it's uh, straight up and down. You don't want it to pop out. That would suck, because then I'd have to try to repair the piece. Alright, I guess this is about as good as I can get it. It's right in the middle here. There we go. Incredibly unbroken sentence moving from topic to topic. No one had a chance to interrupt. It was quite hypnotic. Incredibly unbroken sentence moving from topic to topic. No one had a chance to interrupt. It was quite hypnotic. Uh, so, you know, I see it right here. I need to reposition this. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of gouging. I didn't get it centered properly enough. That, that's just the, the perils of trying to do this on camera so that other people can see. Sometimes trying to get the camera to work, you know, uh, doing something so that I can see it and having the camera see it at the same time is sometimes there's a bit of a conflict of interest. And I, I know I get thumbs down on occasion because people can't see what I'm doing. But you know what? What else? So I'm gonna. Jeez. Hmm. Now, let me see the other piece here. I think it was a 0.5. No, what? No, I think it was a 0.4. Maybe I didn't use a 0.5 after all. Maybe I used a 0.4. Perhaps that's why it was a little bit easier. Let's see what this one is like here. Um... Yeah. All right. Point four. Okay, good. Whew. I should have tested that before I started drilling. 
Good thing I didn't make it too deep, though. Okay. Let's get back to here. And start drilling. After lining these two wingtips up together, it becomes apparent to me why I had a difficult time drilling into here. This is considerably thinner than this. And uh, I hope this is going to work out okay, but I do have the holes drilled through here and I have fit the wires through there and they, they, they fit just fine. So, now that I have the holes in place. What I need to do is maybe s switch to point six. There. And then what I need to do is just kind of drill out a little socket just to have the some some place for the LED to sit into or SMD I should say this needs to be nestled into here so that the clear piece can't fit on top there Okay, so this will have like a little place for this to fit inside. I, th I think it works okay on this one here. Yeah. Uh, of course the the wires are going to be going in this way, so it's going to be in down like that. When I'm ready to do this, I'll have to drill a little bit more. But I think I have enough just to get started. There. So, the, the cool thing about the Crusader is that it has, uh, the wings can be uh, kind of popped up like, 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 like so in order to have uh, shorter takeoff and landings. So, and it, it just kind of like, you know, fits back down when it uh, when it's in, in regular flight. So, because of that, this model has variable positions to ch that you can uh, choose from, which is really cool. Consequently, this model employs several polycaps.
Uh, there's a couple more here that fit inside. This doesn't want to fit inside though. There. So, let's uh, drill some more holes. So on the, uh, the top here there's going to be a light and there's also going to be a light here. You can just barely see the outline where you're supposed to attach the clear plastic. So, let me... There we go. Let's see if we could drill another hole next to it. Nope. See, it's hard though. I mean, yeah, you don't want it to fall into the hole. There. Okay. Okay, great. Let's do the same for the top here. So the poly caps really help this to stay together. It's pretty nice. Okay. Now there. Okay. Okay. Nice. Alright, so we have to take these off of the runners here.
Okay, so here we go. These parts need to be glued together. Okay. Alright, so. Ah! Okay, nice. So we have a few more poly caps to be put into place here. Lots of poly caps on this kit. This is uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, I just caught a mistake here. Fortunately, the glue hasn't totally set. This needs to be removed. I need to at least bend this out of the way. This needs to go in here. I did not see this until just now. God, I hope I can do this. Okay. So, the instructions don't say this is part A, or step A, and then this is step B. They don't, they don't say that. So, it, it didn't have like step one, step two. So, uh, there. Okay. Good thing I caught that before the glue had more time to solidify. Yeah. Okay.
There. So all these flaps are in halves. I just don't know why that uh, front flap was not uh, split into halves. Oh shoot. Let me get some tissues here. There. Okay, cool. This model requires more drilling. some more up here too. This is supposed to go at an angle here. There. This is 1.5 mil millimeters. The other, the other, other side as well. I have to trim this off. So for the under wing missile racks, more 1.5 millimeter drilling is required. There we go. So I got two on either wing here.